Welcome to HumanBodyHelp.com's line of educational videos. For more videos like this and other resources for learning anatomy and physiology, please visit my website at www.HumanBodyHelp.com. Hello, this is Dr. Loach from HumanBodyHelp.com, and today I will be demonstrating the anatomy of the scapula. Right now, we're looking at the posterior view of the scapula. And what we're seeing here is that similar to our bodies, our spine is on our back. The spine of the scapula is also on the back of the scapula. So this is how we would tell that this is the posterior aspect of the scapula. A couple of important structures on either side of the spine of the scapula. Down here we have the infraspinous fossa. This indented area inferior to the spine of the scapula is the infraspinous fossa. And then this area up here, superior to the spine of the scapula, would be the supraspinous fossa. Okay. Here we have the suprascapular notch or scapular notch. This structure right here at the base of the spine of the scapula you can kind of hallucinate a little bit and see a triangular shape right here. This would be the root of the spine of the scapula. There's going to be a muscle that's going to attach here, namely the rhomboid minor muscle would attach here. Let's run through the borders of the scapula. This border on this side would be the medial border of the scapula. We also call this the vertebral border of the scapula because the vertebral column would sit right here. This, this would be the lateral border of the scapula. We also call this the axillary border of the scapula because this axillary border is in the axilla or armpit region. The head of the humerus would articulate with this structure up here the glenoid cavity, and we can see that here. Okay, sometimes we call this the glenoid fossa. Fossa means cavity. That's right here where the head of the humerus would articulate. That's on the lateral aspect. The superior border of the scapula would be up here. Okay, so this would be the upper part of the scapula. This would be the lower part of the scapula. This angle right here would be the inferior angle of the scapula. This would be the superior angle of the scapula up here. Okay. And then the lateral angle of the scapula, if you can imagine the scapula being a triangular shape, this would be the lateral angle of the scapula. And there's many structures out on this lateral angle of the scapula. We have our glenoid cavity or glenoid fossa. We have the supraglenoid tubercle, which would be right here. An infraglenoid tubercle, we would see down here. Okay, these would be sites for muscular attachment when you study the muscles. The long head of the tricep would attach here at this infraglenoid tubercle. And up here at the supraglenoid tubercle, we would have one of the heads of the biceps brachii, specifically the long head of the bicep attaching there. This structure right here is the acromion process. We can see it on the posterior view here. Coming back up to the lateral view, we can see this structure right here. And if I turn the scapula so that you can see the anterior, we can see this structure a little bit better. This structure is the coracoid process of the scapula. Coracoid as opposed to coronoid. We would find coronoid processes on other structures like the ulna bone and the mandible. This is the coracoid process and coracoid means crow's beak. So early anatomists thought this structure looked very similar to what a crow's beak looks like. Now that we're looking at the anterior view of the scapula, we can see this nice smooth articular surface here. This is 
in a skeleton, this would articulate with the rib cage. However, in real life, there would be a couple of muscles between the scapula and the rib cage. One muscle being the serratus anterior, and another muscle would be the subscapularis muscle. Okay, that subscapularis muscle is named for this area right here, which is called the subscapular fossa. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.